Welcome back to All Things Gumball, where we talk about how to build your vending business, your bulk candy vending business. The reason I say bulk, the reason I call it bulk, is because you buy your candy in bulk. You buy your candy in large bags, and the best place to get your candy, in my opinion, is Sam's, Sam's Club. They do a very good job. They also have an internet site you can go to, and you can order online. You can have them ship it right to your house. My most popular item that I get from Sam's is going to be your peanut M&M's. My second most popular is going to be plain M&M's. We have some here. We have Reese's Pieces here. Mike and Ike's. I'm sorry, Skittles. Mike and Ike's. Hot tamales. They also sell a container like this that has your gourmet jelly beans. Now this one is empty. And I don't throw these away because they're good for all kinds of things. You can put tools and parts and other types of candy inside of these machines, so these are great. Now, the problem is Sam's has six selections, so how interested are your customers going to be if they only find the same six items all the time? Or seven, if you count the jelly beans. So what I did was I went to Walmart and I found a ton of items that you can buy at Sam's, I mean at Walmart. And let me get started. Okay? Uh, we have the we have Hers Hershey's, Hershey's uh, Pieces, let me read that to you, Milk Chocolate with Whole Almonds. The next one is Heath Pieces, now these are Milk Chocolate with Toffee. Now uh, M&M's does a lot of varieties, okay? Uh, I want to start off by talking about this product here. This is a party size M&M's that you get at Walmart. Now the problem is they're red, white, and blue, and that was for uh, the 4th of July. The problem is when you put these in your machine, if the machine doesn't consume all of the candy, let's say in 30 days, the colors signify when it was placed in there. People know this is a 4th of July product. If it's in there for a couple more months, they'll know it's stale, so they won't buy it. So you want to stick with your traditional colors. Um, what I do is I wait till the end of the season, like let's say 4th of July, they have this product. At the end of the 4th of July, let's say a week or two after, this will be on sale for a couple of dollars. Go ahead and buy yourself a few bags. And what you can do is you can sort through the other, you can sort through the other colors. Uh, this is red, white, and blue. I don't know if you know this, but uh, M&M's makes red and blue colored M&M's. So all you have to do is do something with the white. You can put those aside and enjoy those yourself. Give them to your kids, your grandkids, or whatever. Okay. Now let's let's talk about some of the M&M products. This one is a dark chocolate M&M. Okay. This one is your milk chocolate M&M. Now the thing I like about this one is very very small pieces. They're very tiny. They look smaller than a Tic Tac, if you know what a Tic Tac looks like. And the kids, they love these. The little kids love these. So if you know of a place where there's a lot of little kids, put this in your machine and they will go crazy over this. And in a subsequent video, in another video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how many pieces to sell per quarter so that you can double your investment. Okay? Let's keep going with the M&M products. This is M&M Caramel, or as my friend used to say, Caramel. I grew up saying caramel and it kind of stuck. M&M's Almond. <clears throat> M&M's Peanut Butter. M&M's Peanut Butter, I know they're similar to a Reese's Pieces. Some people swear by M&M's uh, Peanut Butter. So do an experiment. Try one and try the other and see which one works better. And as I was telling you in another video, what you can do is when you take this bag and you dump it out into your machine, uh, you would want to buy four or five of these bags. And then what you want to do is you want to cut out this label here. You want to cut out the front part of it where it says peanut butter, M&M's, and then you just tape it on. Um, what I used to do is I used to go down to the Xerox place, the Kinko's, and I would have an empty bag and I would place it in a, um, in a Xerox printer and I would print full color. So when it came out it was a paper, a piece of paper with full color of this design. And then I would cut it and then I'd laminate it and that way it's good to last forever. Okay, now this is one that is very new. It's called Strawberry Nut M&M's. And as I said, all of these can be found at Walmart. Okay, pretzel M&M's in the blue bag. 
This is going to be your dark chocolate peanut M&Ms. And there is a dark chocolate plain M&Ms. Okay. Another new product from M&Ms is the coffee nut M&M. And then we have one of my favorites is the mint dark chocolate M&M. I love these. Your customers may not love them, but I love them. Now, let's talk about gumballs. These, these are mini gumballs. You can get these at Walmart. And I have counted them. There's about 800 in a bag. The bag will cost you $8. And that's with taxes. So basically, one bubble gum is a penny. <clears throat> and if you give away five bubble gum pieces for one quarter, your profit is 20 cents on every quarter. So this is a great item to have in all your vending machines. Okay, we have Chewy Squeeze. The thing about candies that you put in your machine, they have to be able to slide. Imagine you're at the park and you slide the candy down the machine or down the slide. It's got to slide. Uh, I saw somebody put gummy bears in one of their machines and they just stuck. They wouldn't fall. Gravity couldn't pull them down. Chewy Spreeze has a tough outside coating, a very hard outside coating, which al allows it to slide even though it says it's chewy. Um, so before you put them in your machine, try them out. Have a few pieces and taste them. Okay, talking about jelly beans at Walmart, they have Gimbal's jelly beans. And this says it's made with real fruit. There's 41 flavors. Okay, the next one is the Gimbal's product again. And this one is the sour fruit mix. Okay, we're going to do the Skittles probably last. Now these are Airhead Bites. Pretty popular with my daughters when they were little. These are Sweet Tarts Chewy, Mini Chewy. Uh, sweet Tarts, some Sweet Tarts have a powder coating. Let me show you an item that has a powdery coating because you don't want to use those. Bottle caps have a powdery coating, so you don't want to use those because it creates a powdery surface all on the inside of your machine. Okay? And I believe the Sweet Tarts might... These Sweet Tarts might do the same thing. Both these boxes are a dollar a piece at uh, Walmart. This one might... I'd have to open this up and check it. I haven't opened this product up yet. But if it's got a powdery surface on the texture or on the outside, uh, I would stay away from that. The Sweet Tarts Mini Chewy, they have a hard surface. I know that for a fact. Um, the gob... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these boxes here. <clears throat> All the boxes are made for taking into the theater. You can slip them in your jacket or purse. And they all cost a dollar. <clears throat> so if you want to skip the high prices at the, at the um, movie theater, Go to Walmart and you can get a box of runts. Runts are real good. Runts are good if you have a machine in a warehouse because they're very hard. They will not get damaged from the heat. The only thing that happens is they lose their color in the sunlight, as a lot of candies do. And as I said, all these little boxes are a dollar. And in another video, I'm going to show you how many pieces per quarter so that you can double your investment. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now here we have the cherry gobstoppers. These are little, um, what do you call them? Jawbreakers. People love jawbreakers. Um, people love jawbreakers, and it's fat. It's funny because when you go out and you knock on doors trying to find a location, people will say to you, "Well, they'll give you a lot of different excuses of why they don't want the machine in the store." One is we don't have any can. Uh, we don't have any kids that come here. Well. 90% of my business is adults, okay? And I would like to sit there and argue with them and say, yeah, 90% of my business comes from adults, but what they're really saying to you is, we don't really want the machine, sorry. A lot of times you walk in and you see, man, a great place would be there for a machine, and there would be a nice place in the store. When you're walking in and trying to find a location, I see a spot right there, I see a spot right there, and you walk over to the register where the salesman is, and you ask for a manager, and a manager comes out, and you say, hey, how are you doing? Can I put a vending machine in your store? And they're... And they say, we don't have room. And honestly, I look around and I think, I, I see five or six spots where I could put a vending machine. I don't, you do have room. 
And I don't argue with them because it makes for a bad relationship. If you argue with someone and you get in to the location, every time you go there, you're going to feel uncomfortable. And every time you think about going there, you're going to dread it. You're not going to want to go. You're going to find excuses why you shouldn't go or why you're not going to go that day. So if people don't want you there and if they're not happy to have you there, don't fight to get in. It won't be worth it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about, again, these are a dollar, um, nerds. They're really tiny, okay? And uh, they can slip through some of the smaller holes in your vending machine. Um, the vending machines are really made for larger pieces than this, but this does sell very well. Uh, Mike and Ike's, again, we have Mike and Ike's here. And this is Mike and Ike's Sourlicious. And this here, speaking of Sourlicious, this is a Skittles, a Sour Skittles. And what they've done is they've put a sour coating on the outside. It looks like sugary coating, like a sugary coating, like you dipped it in sugar. And the problem is if you put these in your machine, they actually will, you know, you'll get sugar sprinkled throughout your whole machine, which is a real mess to clean. Another thing I'd like to point out about Skittles is I wouldn't put Skittles in a, in a machine that's in a warehouse that gets a lot of heat. Because I've seen Skittles ooze down into the machine and out onto the floor it gets that hot so Skittles don't take the heat very well okay so this is Mike and Ike's Sourlicious uh, when you buy a box before you buy 20 to put in your machines buy one and taste it test it make sure it's got a nice hard coating make sure it doesn't have any powdery or sugary coating okay that one is a dollar I said good and plenty I love these when I was a kid uh, good and plenty is a licorice brand product uh, they look like this design, like they look like little pills. Um, people either love um, licorice or I'd say 90% hate licorice. People hate licorice. So if somebody asks you for a licorice product, be very careful because more than likely you're not going to make a lot of money on that product. I was going to put these together. These are another box of gobstoppers. This is Everlasting Gobstoppers. We have the cherry down there. I said cherry. I can't even spell. That's chewy, not cherry. But cherry gobstoppers would be delicious. Here's another Mike and Mike product, and it's Mega Mix. So let me read the flavors of those Mega Mixes. You got Caribbean Punch, Strawberry Banana, you got Paradise Punch, Grape Soda, that sounds good, Kiwi Orange, Mango. Delight, it looks like, watermelon, pineapple, banana, peach berry, and blueberry raspberry. <coughs> so you have about 11 different flavors, 10 different flavors it says here on the box. Those would be very popular. Uh, the reason I saved the lemon heads for last, I have tried lemon heads in my machine, I found them on sale, and uh, they, absorb, they absorb the um, humidity in the air, and so they get very sticky in your machine. They just clump together and it's a disaster. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is Skittles. Now I've been talking a little bit about the wild berry Skittles in one of my other videos but I'm going to leave this one here because it's already open and I don't want it to spill. I have found the larger bag I guess because it has become so popular Walmart does have the larger bag now and this is 41 ounces. It's called wild berry Skittles. Okay. And again, let me reiterate something I said earlier in another video. If you do put a different type of Skittles in your machine, you want to put a label. <coughs> you can put a label, and this is a smaller label if you just want a small one. You can cut it out and just tape it on. Or you can do something really nice and go down and make a photocopy and then cut out the paper and then laminate it, and it'll last forever. But you want to let everyone know this is the Skittles product, and the reason it looks different is because it has a different group of flavors. Because what they're used to is they're used to the green and the orange and the red and the yellow and the purple flavor or colors. And when they see these colors, they're like, oh, that looks old. I'm not going to touch it. And then they'll end up not even touching the other choices that you have in your other machines. So let them know or print up on a little card, you know. Okay. Now we have this little package here. It's called Wildberry and Tropical Skittles. And this one has eight flavors. Pineapple, passion fruit, banana berry, kiwi lime, uh, 
Tangelo strawberry. I you know what I can hardly even read these. The print is so small. Okay. Now this one here, I just wanted to show you this one too. This box came from Sam's, and they come in little box in little bags like this. And the problem is you have to cut open all the bags and dump them out, and that's time consuming. So. And here's, <coughs> and this is the sweet and sour Skittles. As I said earlier, if it's got a um, sugary coating or a powdery coating, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with those. And then we have the bright side Skittles. Uh, there is one item that I haven't even talked about in your for your vending machine business, and that would be peanuts, or you can do cashews. Now, what I have found is they attract moths little tiny they're called flower moths and they actually will lay eggs on the peanuts okay or the almonds or the pecans or the cashews and then uh, once the egg hatches it turns into a little mo a little butter a little um sorry once the egg hatches it turns into a little caterpillar the caterpillar actually looks like a maggot okay and the problem with it is people look at the machine and they, they see these little tiny uh, caterpillars crawling crawling around and they think the machine is infested with maggots. And no matter what you tell them, you say, no, 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 it's not a maggot, it's a caterpillar, they won't believe you. And I have told people, let me take the machine home, <coughs> I'll clean the machine, I'll sterilize the machine, and I'll bring it back. And I've had so many people say, nope, do not bring it back. And so because of nuts, because because of my nuts, I have lost so many locations. Okay? Now what I've heard is if you do put if you do put your nuts in your machine, what you should do is you should freeze your nuts first before you put your nuts in your machine. And then that way you have to freeze your nuts for 25, 24 hours. Or 25 hours. You freeze your nuts for 24 hours or longer. And then that way if there's anything like any eggs, any moth eggs that are on the nuts, if there's any moth eggs on your nuts, they will die. And then when you put the when you put your nuts in the machine, it won't. Um, <laughs> I just can't hold a straight face any longer. <laughs> so after you freeze your nuts for over 24 hours, then you can put your nuts in the machine, and then more than likely the moths won't grow from your nuts okay uh, now another thing I want to talk to you about a little a little side note is um, you can put rice in your machines you can put uh, dried beans in your machine um, I was working I was I had a vending machine in a in a in a look I had a vending machine in a location that had Mexicans and Asians and the Mexican guy said hey why don't you put some dried beans he said beans why don't you put some beans in the machine for the Mexicans and put some rice in the machine for the Asians? And that was kind of funny. So what I thought I would do is I would get black beans and rice and I'd cover all my bases. Okay. And then if you really want to, you can stick um, noodles in the machine if there's any um, Italians. When my friend and I went down to uh, Kima, it's this place near Houston, they have a place where you can feed the fish and there's a little gumball machine and it's got dog food in it and you put a quarter in, you get a little hand of dog, handful of dog food and you throw it down to the fish. And these people must have been making a killing because I know the dog food must have cost five dollars and when you put a quarter in you'd get three or four pieces. Everyone loved it, everyone was happy. So look for other ways you can find to use your vending machines besides just candy, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I want to say good night and thank you for watching. If you like these videos, subscribe. I hope you give it give it a thumbs up. Give us any questions if you like, and we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.